So this is what you guys were asking me last week when I took you guys to the organic, you know, um, the gringo expat um, little um, farmer's market. And then you guys were like, no, I want, I want to see the Mexican one. I was like, all right, well, here we are. This is it. This is the authentic one. This is the original one. This is the one, well, one of them. There's tons of these everywhere. This is just the one that's in the center, the closest one. We're going to walk around a little bit. I just want to show you real quick so you can see where we're at. Hey guys, how's it going and welcome back. Today is Monday, February 25th, 2019. And uh, in case you guys aren't aware, which I know you're not, but today is my father's birthday. Uh, my father passed away when I was really young, when I was in my early 20s, but today is his birthday. So happy birthday, old man. That's right. Anyways, well, today is Sunday afternoon and I actually finished a good a majority of my work uh, this weekend. Got pretty caught up. And uh, everything's been pretty wonderful. Had a wonderful night last night. And um, woke up with tons of energy this morning. Um, I, I thought I was going to be... I woke up pretty exhausted and tired. But for whatever reason, I just had so much energy. My friend, on the other hand, she... Um, kind of slept in. It's like 2, 2.30 and she just woke up a little while ago. So she wasn't, she was a little more tired than I was. Um, but yeah, we just went out drinking, have fun, whatever, what have you. So, um, it was, it's getting really hot in the house today. Hot and humid. I hate humidity. Now, sure, there's humidity out here in Mex in this part of Mexico. It's known, it's known to have humidity and shit. But um, it's nothing like Miami. You know, Miami is like 10 billion times worse. So here, the humidity is actually not so bad. It comes in waves. In waves! And um, yeah, right now, it's, uh, it seems like it's that time, you know? So it's, it's, it's not only is it hot, but then it's just like, again, see, you can even see. Maybe not so much, but you can see there's a lot of that. And it's not necessarily raining, but it's just... It's just humid man it's like fuck it's like walking in a sauna and so at least out here it's a little windy it's nice it's not so bad and uh so i was like you know what let me just get the fuck out of the house let me just get out of the house for a little while and i gotta go to El centro anyway you know i gotta go pick up some some things for the week so i was like you know what let me just do it now it's sunday it's a lot less traffic it's a little more chill I have a lot of energy and <laughs> I still want to like kind of uh, get out of my system. So I was like, you know what? Perfect. So today what we're going to be doing is that we're just going to be taking a little bit of a different route. Now, pretty much everything you've seen out here, I think you've already seen before. Um, again, we're just going down Calle 60 where all the art galleries are. You probably have already seen these art galleries as I've walked through here before. And um, we're just going to be taking a little bit of a different route because I want to see if I can, a little loud. Anyways, I want to take a little bit of a different route so I can show you guys a little bit more of the city city, all right? El Centro. Now, again, guys, today is Sunday, so it's not gonna be as busy as normal. But you know what, like, uh, if you guys saw yesterday's video, which I'm gonna link here, or link at the end of, the, or link at the end of this video, um, you know, that's some footage that I shot a long time ago when I was out here. And um, and that was like shot during the week, I think. Not quite sure. But whatever, it varies. You know, so today is Sunday. And Sunday is very typical out here to just be nothing. So let me give you a little example of what I mean. You see? I don't know if you guys remember, but out here, the last time I brought you guys out here, there was a huge festival. The Oaxaca Festival. So this is usually how the park looks. But again, it's Sunday. There's nobody here, you know? Maybe later, there'll be more people out here. But as for now, there's nobody out here right now. Because a lot of people are in church. They're doing family things. And so on and so forth. Alright guys, well, I think I'm going to attach you to the top of my head. So that I can continue walking and talking and making this a little easier for myself. And, uh, yeah. So I can just, uh... It's a lot easier when I have you strapped to my head. Insert joke here. All right, guys. Well, without further ado, 
I'll see you looking that way. Man, it's hot. It's really hot today though, I'll tell you that. Yeah, I have to carry this little towel so I can... See? That's how fucking hot it is. And I'm telling you, the humidity does not help. Got attachment to the head, you know. You got tourist, tourist butts, tourist bus coming straight ahead. You hear, buddy? I gotta get on one of those one of these days for you guys. Well, for me too. I'm sure it'll be a pretty awesome. But yeah. Let me see. I don't look too crazy, right? It's okay. Crazy is in these this time of year. <laughs> so well today's episode we're going to be talking about freedom and um just i know we've we touch on, on freedom and we talk about freedom a lot and from time to time but i really want to like talk about it how's it going i really want to talk about it um in the sense of what it really means you know why why the you know because again like uh, i've had a lot of people you know keep leaving comments in my Mexico videos and talking about freedom. They're talking about freedom in one form or another. And, uh... <coughs> Fuck. Ah. Sorry about that. And what freedom really means. What freedom really, really, really means, you know, and uh, it, it's 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 really kind of hard to to really pinpoint exactly what it means if you don't know you're missing it, and that's it. So I I think a lot of people that that watch my videos literally um, understand exactly what I mean when I'm talking about freedom. You know, this is why I make. All right, let me get over here. The sun's out. <laughs> It's not bad. It's not bad. Level of uh, one to ten on crazy. Ten. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's get to the freedom part. So, you know, here, like, I'll, I'm just gonna give you little, little things, you know, so that you guys can understand what I mean. Okay. So, for example, the other night, I went to the Quickie Mart by my house in order to buy some beers. So, first of all, I bring back my glass bottles. When I bring black back my glass bottles, they immediately give me a credit, like like an actual credit. So for example, if I wanna buy bottles of beer, they charge me eight bucks for the beer and eight bucks for the bottle. If I bring the bottles back, they never charge me for the beer again. They just charge me, um, you know, I mean, they don't charge me for the bottle, they just charge me for the beer. So as long as I keep bringing back the bottles, all I keep getting charged is eight bucks, eight pesos, eight pesos per beer. Eight pesos per beer. And that's, you know, that's actually really, really reasonable. It's like 40 cents a beer. Um, so, not only, not only do you have that available where you can just show up to like any old Quickie Mart with your empty bottles of beer, and either A, get more beer, or B, just get your deposit back. No questions asked, even if you bought them from there or not. Um, not only do you, do, is that available, <laughs> you know, um, which might not seem like much. Um, the other point is that when uh, I was putting the beers away in my bag, you know, um, the, the clerk himself, the clerk himself literally had, uh, you know, left one of the beers out. He left one of the beers out and he and he had like the bottle opener and just like without saying a word he was just offering to me hey do you want to open this one and drink it on the way out and so i was like yeah i mean we don't as soon as he showed me the bottle opener clunk i opened the beer 
and that's it off to the races you know so i was walking home with a beer in one hand and a bunch of other beers in my other hand and it's like one billion percent legal now again there's a lot of you guys out there that like, you know this is not like a thing but like and and like if you know pretty much any major city or any major metropolitan area in the u.s you can't do anything even remotely close to that without getting harassed or getting in trouble or getting in jail going to jail literally for that so so i mean it's just like little itty bitty things like that they're, they're just constant and uh you know it might not seem like much but it's like it's just like all kinds of things everywhere you know like right now let's say that someone you know wants to make a stop for whatever reason you know to drop somebody off or what have you they can do that without getting harassed by the police officer you know it's like obvious what they're doing also look there we go everyone's out today that's oh, right it's sunday i yeah, might as well take a little walk through here Oh, look at that camera. Cool. So yeah, you guys have been through here before and uh, you guys seen it all empty. As you guys can see, it's Sunday. So since it's Sunday, everyone's out with their art, whatever art it is, or they might just be selling stuff, you know. Um, they might just be selling stuff, you know, just like a, uh, whatchamacallit? A garage sale or what have you let's take a walk through here and people just set up here you just get like a little bitty permit you know just nothing crazy and that's it see these are the, these are all the stores and spots that I gotta start getting somehow coming out here talking to them be like hey if you guys offer Visa and MasterCard and shit like that you guys gotta offer Bitcoin as well um, see I, I'm guessing these guys are already cleaning up it's already getting later But yeah, you can see there was a lot more activity here earlier. But everyone's already cleaning up. And it's only 2 o'clock, 2.30 in the afternoon. And so like, you know, you'll see things clearing up and setting up here. And then you'll see the opposite. You know what I mean? Like in other areas, they, like, they'll leave here and then they'll go set up somewhere else. And it's like happening always throughout the city every day. You know, Monday through Sunday. It never ends. So yeah, it's already... See, look, over here, you guys remember the little stands? You know, where people sit. I know over there on the big stage, they have like events and all kinds of shit. So yeah no no gracias Eddie. um and so on and so forth see look how beautiful the, the leaves are falling oh as a matter of fact now as you're walking around and you're seeing like all kinds of trees um now i'm noticing like i'll see things like growing from the trees and falling and like actual like fruits and vegetables and beans and shit that i've never seen in my life so that's pretty fucking cool so yeah man it's getting hot this humidity is no joke So, let's see. Can we cross the street or what? I think we can. All right, let's do this. So, as you guys can see, even though the city might not be as bustling as it is, you know, during other, other parts, the center is the center. The, this is all the touristy area. There's a lot of tourists everywhere. And so, um, let me see. All right, my hair's not so bad, is it? All right, whatever. <laughs> so self-conscious, like it matters. So, um, what was I gonna say? So yeah, there's always action. There's always action. This is all like the, the touristy center area. So there's all these places are always open because there's always tourists around. But like I was saying, um, no matter what day of the week, there's always something going on, you know? Um, and, and a lot of it has to do with um, tourism sure you know because it's very tourist friendly but you know the reality is that like a lot of this stuff that goes on a lot of the stuff that goes on out here is mainly just for, for like the people you know what i mean like there's a lot of culture there's a lot of uh like really really good stuff that happens you know you know like for example whenever you see like any event like in the center or any kind of like the footage that i've shown you guys before you know a, a lot of that stuff is just like traditional stuff that they use and they do for the people you know to keep everything like alive keep the whole you know like let's say you do like uh, back in the states you'll have like a reenactment of a civil war 
or they'll have like uh, old Williamsburg type shit. So, you know, this is kind of like the same thing. A lot of times when you're seeing things out here, they're just, you know, continuing that vibe. And so people, you know, tourists that come visit out here are not just tourists like, you know, from Europe or the United States. There's a lot of tourists that come out here from, from Mexico. And so they just got to keep that whole thing going. And again, it's just, it's, it's for the locals as well, because this is like a major city with a lot of like little um, pueblos or cities or little, or little villages all around here. And so, you know, all, all those little villages, you know, they come here to the city for, for everything, you know, for, for, you know, to sell their stuff, you know, for, for an event, um, for some cultural stuff, you know, there's all kinds of stuff. I'm not, I, I don't know what, it might be a little too late right now but we're on I'm, I'm on the way back i'm gonna see if um they're still doing look see look there's all the art that i told you guys they sell out here and stuff like that and there's more of it over there on the other end um usually they're out at night but since it's the weekend they're out now no much i okay anda vendiendo ahí cojiba look at that mira cojiba de cuba verdad Sí, buenísimo. ¿Cuánto, ¿Cuánto vale un...? Mil pesos la caja. Ah, está bien, está bien, está bueno. 200, ¿quiere uno le vende? No, 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 cuando... yo estoy aquí unos días, la próxima vez. Gracias, muchas gracias, muy amable. So look, you saw that a Cuban cigar, you get like a box of... of uh... All right, let's cross quick. You know what, let me go this way. So you get a box of five Cuban cigars for a thousand pesos, that's 25 and two, 250 pesos for one cigar so that's like 13 bucks 12 bucks so about 12 bucks give or take for a cuban cigar not bad and straight from cuba there ain't no import situation you know so those are real cubans from cuba so yeah i know you guys have seen me walk through here before many times as you guys can see, as we're getting closer to the center, more and more action. More tourists, more... So now we're going towards the city center, it's Socalo. We've been there plenty of times. We've been out there many, many fucking times. And, uh, but I don't think I've ever shown you guys on a weekend. So as you guys, you know, the big center with the big flag and you know, where all this shit is always happening. Well, look what I, I'm going to show you guys what happens during the week. I mean, during the weekend on a Sunday, on a typical Sunday afternoon. Because that's what today is. It's a lazy Sunday. But let me show you how Mexicans do lazy Sunday, like for reals. They take this shit to the next level. And this is every, this is our every weekend, you know, like for reals. Like regardless of if there's, like there's nothing happening this weekend. This is just a regular Sunday, a regular weekend. And this is what they do. See, there's a big cathedral. We, I usually come from that street, but there's a big cathedral out here. And then that's it, look at this, bam! Look at all this shit. So you got like, oh, look, hey, I'll show you. Normally this street is where the cars pass, but as you can see, look, as far as the eye can see, you know, people selling everything, every kind of food you want. So this is what you guys were asking me last week when I took you guys to the organic, you know, um, the gringo expat um, little um, farmer's market. And then you guys were like, no, I want, I want to see the Mexican one. I was like, all right, well, here we are. This is it. This is the authentic one. This is the original one. This is the one, well, one of them. There's tons of these everywhere. This is just the one that's in the center, the closest one. We're going to walk around a little bit. I just want to show you real quick so you can see where we're at. You can hear stuff happening. I was actually gonna take you guys to another part, but since I came across this, I was like, fuck it, let me just show you this. So. Look 
Look at that. Look at all these birds. So and again, you know, it's just beautiful. You can walk wherever you want, do whatever you want. Like everything is just, you know, if these birds see, look, they're all coming to attack me. If I get fucking injured by these fucking birds, it's my fucking fault. Like, you know, there's no like police officer saying, hey, you can't walk here because of the fucking birds or the this or that. Again, more freedom, more freedom, more freedom. It's just constant freedom. You really don't know that you don't have freedom until you have it. Here you get to do anything. As long as I'm not hurting anyone, I can do what the fuck I want. And I think that's how it should be. Everywhere. So usually I walk down the street we're gonna go to now. That's the street I always walk down. So as you guys can see, there's already like there's everyone's gathering and there's stuff happening. There's stuff selling stuff here, selling stuff there. Everywhere. <laughs> so yeah, I had to explain that to you. Literally, so, like, so you can see the vibe, the vibe how different it is out here. So literally the old lady was saying, oh, the old man was offering me a big giant chili, a giant chili. And then as soon as I saw what he was offering, it was just like a little baby chili. So you guys can see, you know, these are like grandma and grandpa talking about this shit in front of all the kids, in front of everybody, everybody laughing, having a good time. Big difference, big difference in culture, big difference in so many things. Is everybody gathering? All right, let's walk through the to the crowd. <laughs> Walking through the crowd. <laughs> So again, everything here is for sale. Just about everything. So I was just trying to see if I can show you guys. I don't think I can, but maybe. Maybe I can. I'm not supposed to be walking back here, but fuck it. But you see, usually, like all this right here, all this and all that over there, they have like a big festival thingy. So like, I'm just gonna walk this way so I can show you guys. But you see, you see, you see I've walked through here many times. So here they usually have like a like a live band playing music and the whole area there is just people dancing and doing all kinds of things. Alright, I don't know if you guys could have heard you know, what I was saying back there because I forgot it was really loud. But there they have like a lot of like the traditional dance, a lot of the culture stuff, you know, all that stuff's going on. Right now what they're doing is just having like a little bit of a, you know, comedy type thing and then, you know, it's just... It's a constant thing and it's like every Sunday they do this every Saturday they do something else and as you guys can see it's just all over the place so actually what I'm gonna keep doing now is I'm gonna keep walking towards the area I wanted to show you guys um, and uh, yeah 
we'll go from there. So I'm gonna strap you back to my head and uh, just keep talking a little bit longer. Um, I think the battery's dying, so hopefully it doesn't die before that I finish this, so. All right, yeah, I'm not sure when this thing stopped recording. I remember this thing's dying of battery right now. So right now we're like deep in the center of like where the, where the real people of this city live. So I'm gonna strap you to my head a little bit longer, okay? And I'm gonna show you through the real markets, okay? What, uh, what I showed you was like the big festival shit that they have. But like here is like where, where the people that live here do. All right, hold on. So this is really more with the, where the locals hang, all right? This is more like the local, local spot. You're not gonna find anyone like me out here, very rare. Um, even if someone looks like me out here, they're usually, you know, just another local or a tourist, you know, um, with, to speak Spanish and stuff. So, but again, this place is more popping during the week. This is just Sunday afternoon. And um, so this is more like the typical market. This is more of like what you're gonna see, what people were asking me when I was showing you guys look at that when I was showing you guys um, the farmers market from last week you know the the one for the expats and all that stuff um, you know what you guys were asking me for is like more like hey I want to see this market you know this is the market I want to see not the not the American farmers market shit so this is where we're at now and as you can see um, it's very different than what I showed you just a little earlier in the video today this is more 100% um, authentic and shit you know and again, it's clearing out. You can tell it's clearing out. It's not as busy as it normally would be. De 100 pesos por un plazo. Tú me regalas 100 por uno, me dice señor, que te quieres llevar el tratamiento completo para un mes de curación, 100 y 100 serían, ¿cuánto sería? 200 pesos. Yo te pregunto, 200 pesos es caro. So that guy right there is uh, pyramid scheme, Mexican version, you know? That's a pyramid, or not a pyramid scheme, but you know, just like back in the day, the people, the people would sell, um, the people would just sell like the, the cure, you know, like a cure-all or whatever. See, here you can do that, and there's no like rules or regulations that say you can't do that. If people buy it, they buy it. If they don't, they don't. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. People take responsibility for their own actions. Again, more freedom. There's no cop that's gonna come out here and bust this guy for selling whatever the fuck he's selling. A miracle cure, you know what I mean? I see more of the market. It's like really far away from home. I'm not gonna keep walking down that way. I'll, I'll, I'll come up back another day and show you guys more but you guys can see I'm getting a lot more looks I'm getting more looks out here for, for filming you can definitely tell and out here out here being a little bit more like in the city city um, you know, there's, cer there's certain people that are a little bit just more dangerous looking or dangerous and what have you. And um, and so, you know, they, they try to just do like the whole intimidation thing or the whole whatever, you know, because it's like, you know, you're like the strange person in the strange land. But again, this is where your size comes in. You know, like I'm double their fucking size. Um, I also speak Spanish and I brush that out when I have to. And, and I'm more aggressive and so on and so forth. But. You know, just like little things like that that you're probably not going to hear about like in just like a regular video or anything like that, you know. Um, but it's just, you know, these are the things that you have to be aware of, you know. I'm telling you like everything, the good, the bad, the ugly, you know, the in between. So everything is perfect. I mean, and from my, from my perspective, everything is perfect. 
but for a lot of people you know even though this city is like the safest city you know in all of mexico a lot of people might consider this place still very dangerous or scary or what have you not for me because i come from the fucking hood 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 of miami so out here you know no matter how fucking hood it is it's chill as fuck you know what I mean? Like, this is the shit I grew up with, you know? I grew up with all this kind of stuff in Miami, you know? Like, in a different version. But look, that's like five bucks, 250, you know, just so you can see the prices, you know, give or take. I just want to make sure I'm still recording. All right, you know what? I think I'm going to be ending it here because um, I'm already at my destination and I'm, I'm going to run out of batteries anyway, so I might as well just end it real quick. So, guys, thank you so much for watching today. I hope, I really hope you enjoyed today's episode. I know it's like all over the place, a little bit cut up, but I just wanted to show you a little more of uh, what it is to be out here and to what it is to live out here and uh, just give you more of what I see on a daily basis, all right? And just really try to show you how, how it really is out here, you know? Like, it's not, everything is awesome, but it, it might not be awesome for everybody. It just might be a little different for everybody. Look at this. So normally all these things would be open, you know? So you, you get to open whenever you want. You get to do whatever you want, you know? So, I forgot what I was saying, but anyways, thank you guys so much for joining me today. I really appreciate you guys. You guys are freaking awesome. Let me see. Okay, let me show you a little bit more around this area. I don't wanna get too veered off. I don't wanna get lost. But you see, as you guys can see, the, the deeper I go, you know, you can see, like, the deeper you go, the deeper it gets, you know what I mean? Like, we haven't, I, I'm, I'm barely touched, like, the, I have barely been able to touch the surface, you know, um, of this ginormous iceberg that is Merida, like, for reals. Um, and I love it here. I really do, and I think you guys will love it, too. If you guys are fed up with wherever the hell you're at, this is the place to be. All right, guys, I'm done. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share. And I'll see you guys manana. Hope you guys have an amazing, amazing Monday and an amazing rest of your week. Peace.